Hello there, Erinar here, and today I have some good findings about missile units for you. Just let me show you right away. Here is a big Excel with all missile units, with all, all their stats, and some calculated values like total damage, lethal kills, or even their DPS. But before you jump right to the Excel, I need to tell you there is one problem with all such calculations. Uh, the missile units are not that accurate as you would think. Let me show you right away very simply what do I mean. If we just want to know which, unit, which missile unit is good at dueling other missiles, let's say enemy uh, Nubian slingers, uh, let, let me show you what's the problem with the accuracy. In theory, we would usually calculate what, what happens if every uh, shot is landing correctly and killing, an, killing the target model. But as you can see, here is quite a big area where these projectiles are hitting or missing and Despite opponent having 90 models shooting a couple of seconds, we are still losing just a few models at a time. And here in Pharaoh there is a big deal about accuracy. So, you may see that uh, missile slingers are having terrible accuracy. Uh, but fear not. Uh, Archers and javelins are having much better accuracy despite lower range and if you think this accuracy number on in the middle is going to do something about this um, I will prove you quite wrong so let's say the opponent was shooting for quite a long time he killed 50 models, 55 models, and now let me showcase you how how the missiles or how the archers are accurate. So, so the slingers were shooting so somewhere around this area, but as you can see with missiles, with archers, sorry, come on it's much smaller circle we are at the 160 range and we are shooting inside of this blue circle so and let's let's show you the javelins okay let me show you what is the problem with javelins as well you would think that they are very accurate as well maybe slow motion next time it was quite similar area to shoot it okay guys let's shoot and as you can see some javelins are going completely wrong way and ma many of them are going this <laughs> so despite having a lot of models and throwing deadly javelins many of your projectiles are going to miss that's the sad reality. Despite having very good lethality, just for testing, please don't do this at home. Uh, just to show it, the accuracy is all over the place. Completely, majority of your projectiles will miss the target. So, let's go back to our table. I did quite a good job for you instead of you and I have measured accuracy of missile units. Many slings as you have seen in the battle they have terrible accuracy. Javelins and bows are usually doing much better. And this accuracy will be our backbone of our damage lethal kills and 
of our DPS. So this Excel table is using the accuracy which I have measured. So either you are going to do same work as me or just look at these stats. For example, let's have a look on the actual unit cards to show you what I actually mean. So uh, let's put the lethality back to default. And if you are going to decide which unit to choose, you'll see accuracy 11, which doesn't make any sense, lethality 10%, or if you just bring some strong slinger instead. Mm. I have good answer for very tough questions. Should I bring more javelins? Should I bring more stronger units? Here in the Excel, I have I have answer for two things. First, if you want to spend all your money or your funds uh, to bring the most efficient uh, units for spamming and to dealing a lot of damage for the cheapest as possible, you are go you want to know which units are better at spamming, and as you can see, mostly javelins are going to deal some good damage especially cheap ones and there is one good finding where is the sling oh yes Papillon silo sling layers are actually good at spamming and let me show you why uh, where is the Papillon here is one good example these guys are costing just 200 they have 120 models they are extremely cheap they have a lot of models and when you multiply this force with even with their low accuracy and lethality they can give you a lot of value and this excel it's showing such findings okay so that would be one scenario the other scenario is when you are fighting one missile unit against another one and we do have some champions to show you as well. Of course this is going to be dominated by javelins because javelins are kind of designed to be very good against missiles. So let's have a look. Palisade skirmishers. What can we see? what is so good on around them oh okay if i compare this with the palace to javelin men the palace skirmishers have quite big shield no wonder they are one of the best uh, missile duel duelists pretty nice lethality and the shield is going to be very good that's why in this excel I have also highlighted which units are having shield and how much. Oh, also the, these javelins have shield as well. Uh, Seti is going to have very good javelin as well because of a lot of models and shield. Okay, but we want to know which uh, archer is going to be the best at dueling. Uh, we got a couple of candidates and it seems that the late game archers are kind of the best. Hmm. I want to show you one good unit which is not end, end tier and is not having uh, tons of models. It's from Tausred. Here Tausred, it's the tier 3 unit which is actually pretty good. Let me show you why and how. We have two versions, one with two-handed axe, but this one with the club is having small shield. It's quite cheap, it's having shield, pretty good damage range. It's very cost efficient, which is quite uncommon for mid-tier units. And this is another finding which you can find in this Excel. So, uh, 
what what about the DPS? Hmm, DPS can be kind of interesting as well. And we can see if you want to deal damage over time, you are not going to use javelins, but oh, maybe you have. Let's see. Oh, not just javelins, but bows as well. Okay, Shard and Bowman. What's so special about them? Shardan is here. Okay, we have 90 armor with 90, mod 90 models, 80 armor. 80 armor is very, quite a lot. Uh, quite good damage, yeah. And other some cool stuff here. But I believe because of armor, some good damage. Oh, tier 5 unit with 90 mod models is pretty rare because if we go to Ramed, uh, to Amendmas, you can see that they have just 80 models and the other one is having also 80 models. But, you know, Kushit Armored Archers, I also recommend. They also have shield and pretty good damage and range. So they should appear somewhere... Yeah. That's probably the best one from MNMS if you for if you want to deal damage. Yes, the, to my surprise, the table is quite accurate. Yeah, so the link is in the description. You can be sure that I have tested these units, and if you want to know about infantry units and which which to use them, which are OP or not. Check out my the another research with with the Excel, which is right here on the other sheets of the exactly same uh, Excel. So you get everything you need right together. So that is all, and see you later.